All right, so today we are finally going to be checking out more boundaries. We're going to be doing their 2020 album, Your Receding Warmth. This won my last poll over on my community tab. It like barely won next to Darko's uh, Death Mask Part 2 EP. Um, I think it was literally by 1%, so that's crazy. But yeah, man, I have absolutely loved everything I've heard so far from Boundaries. The first time I ever heard of this band, I listened to their brand new album, um, and then I went ahead and listened to Bearing Brightness. Both of the albums gave completely different feelings, so it's hard to compare the two and say which one is better. Um, but there's an argument to be made both ways, in my opinion. They're just incredible albums, man. And I love their lyrics. Like, that's one of my favorite parts of the band. Um, but yeah, everyone wanted me to check this out. I've gotten tons of comments for it. It's a fairly short album. I'm pretty interested in what this is going to sound like because... Um, Death is a little more is a little bit more hardcore very experimental um, and bearing brightness was surprisingly more melodic and like metalcore ish the song lengths and the album art really scream hardcore to me so I think I'm in for something crazy here bam man real quick make sure to subscribe we're almost a 6k like really close also subscribing is a great way to see my polls that I put over on my community tab every once in a while also check out my description I got a twitch link down there if you want to catch a stream uh, and yeah, let's do this shit. Now, other popular songs are filled up with their new album, but I swear I remember seeing one of these songs on their most popular, and I'm pretty sure it's this one. And this album is actually bigger than Bearing Brightness. It has way more plays. If this is better than Bearing Brightness, man, I don't even know. Sounds really good. really like older metalcore breakdowns like counterparts breakdowns love the vocals too it's so solid Ooh, there's some atmosphere in there Their lyrics are so good. These lyrics are like knocked loose. Wow, I love that. More like melodic hardcore. That's brutal though, the lyrics. I really like the lyrics. That was a really solid intro. I can see why that song's really big. Damn. When that melodic guitar came in at the end. It's reminding me more of uh, Death is Little More. Than boundaries so far. I mean, uh, bearing brightness. I'm right, I'm right. 
love how distorted the mix is. Especially on the drums. A really soft breakdown. That sounded like there's a hell era, all these likes. I knew something was coming. <laughs> Very emo, metalcore lyrics. I, I love this uh, melodic hardcore type stuff that sneaks in. It really reminds me of Counterparts. These guys are way more brutal though, don't get me wrong. Like old lows. It's like a deathcore riff. Oh shit. Drums are going off right now. What is the bass doing? That was crazy. Dude, this mix is so punchy. Shit, they're about to murder me. Yeah, the drummers fucking died at the end. That song was great. And this, all of them so far, that one was brutal as fuck though. It was like breakdowns over and over. And I've been loving the lyrics too, like all of them. Uh, this band has great lyricism. Motherfucker! I can't hear you! My will remains 
What the fuck? Damn, this is heavy. Already giving this one a like. Definitely a lot of deathcore influence on this one. That song was just ridiculous. Dude, the drums on this album. They're angry on this one. Slipknot all of a sudden. Shit is insane. Wow. 
These last two songs are insane. More experimental song, some grungy elements in there, I think. This one, probably my least favorite uh, lyrically, probably my least favorite so far, but it was the most brutal. Like, that was just insane at the end. Like, just, oh my god. This album is brutal, man. I'm loving it. Definitely the rawest album. What is wrong with my... Why? Why? I love the mix on this thing. Very different vocally. It's like a typo negative <laughs> new wave thing. Jesus. Ice riff, what the fuck? It's all upbeat all of a sudden. Oh, 
might be my favorite song. Oh my god, I love that melodic part. That's sick. Oh. Very architects. I love the mix of genres they have. It, it works so well. Everything has its place but us! What is the last to feel? What you say is under the depths of love? Blessed by the touch of the girl with the gift of madness! Witness! I love these riffs. I love when the bass comes through a little bit. Oh shit. Unrelenting. This is so counterpart. This is like nostalgic almost. That's my favorite one right there. That's my favorite song. That song was incredible. I know I keep mentioning counterparts, um, but that was really nostalgic to me.
What is that atmosphere creeping in? Oh, that is eerie. Oh shit. The lyrics on that, I couldn't read them, but the ones I was... Whoa. Alright, title track. Please slow it down, y'all. This is the longest song on the album. Drum sounds so good. Depeche mode. Oh, this might be a uh, best of the album. They keep it up. Yeah! 
I felt those lyrics on another level. Those are the best lyrics on the album, probably, maybe. There's some great lyrics on here. That's one of the best songs on the album. I don't know how much I would listen to that because it's really sad. That's really fucking fuck. Last song already. I'm pretty sure they're going to end it heavy. Um, damn. That's all I have to say. I don't know how this has so little plays. Like, It's by you that I'm survived. Is this a spoken word? Because now that I'm gone, I will begin to fade away. And whoever I was to you will start to change. As I go to look for myself and all the shapes that I've been perceived. Really different voice. As I give myself to those who would carve me and take without the need. But I will find my strength in whatever should remain. God, I hate to bring up counterparts again, but I will bend, you know, but not break, and I will push for no sake. No sake. This is a great album. Mm -hmm. These three albums are incredible. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about these. To get you out, to allow myself a chance to breathe. This has the brutality of death is a little more. From the departed. Dear or otherwise. I feel like this might it's darker now. Darker than I realized. As I cross over behind the I would bed, love if this is all like this. I step past the horizon of who I've been. But not all is unfamiliar. Because it's different here. But I am the same. I am met by myself with my thoughts written and rephrased. I have been here before and I will be here again. Alone now, reflection starts. No longer can I ignore that behind the bend wasn't very far. And I've spent years just a few steps away from my own heart. And I could almost the heart wish stops that's where and I'd starts. Stay. I mean, starts my and heart stops. Is where I keep everything that I'd rather not say. But it's too late. I'm here and so are they. Nothing can quiet the company of none. Nothing can hold back reality once it starts to flood. If you only have yourself and this is who I am, then I'm a moment from disaster and my moment has passed. How bleak it's all become. Our youth, life, and love. Is this it? Could it really be that living is just the act of losing everything we need? Was this the expectation all along and nobody told me that as you live and as you love, you do so only to lose? That being alive only takes one, but that living takes two. That in the absence of our shelter, I can finally see the truth. From the departed, dear or otherwise, the cold is coming as sure as the sun will rise, and your receiving warmth is all that I desire. Oh my god, if they that could have went into like a beautiful melodic hardcore instrumental. It's okay that it didn't, but oh I might have that would have really impacted me if it did. It still did really impact me. I'm gonna give that a like. I really loved that. That was straight up counterparts. This is the only one, like, it does deserve a like. It really does. Because it's it's just the most brutal one on the album, I think. Like, just insane. It was my least favorite lyrics, but it's a great song, so... I was just kind of holding off on liking it because it was my least favorite so far. But it's definitely... It's not even close to a bad song. I don't think there's a song that I haven't liked off of the albums that I've listened to, right? Yeah, Full Thing Liked. Full... Oh. Uh, well, it's a 46 second <laughs> interlude, okay? It's hot today, but that album made me start sweating everywhere. My hair looks like fucking trash. But wow, that was a great album. Um, you can really hear both uh, Bearing Brightness and Death is a Little More in here. Um, Bearing Brightness took that sound, cleaned it up a little bit production-wise. Like, I love how brutal and distorted uh, Your Receding Warmth is, but they really cleaned it up uh, with Bearing Brightness. It's still a pretty raw album, um, but there was a lot better cleans on Bearing Brightness. There weren't really any cleans on Your Receding Warmth. It was more of like a spoken word thing. But Bearing Brightness kind of explored the more melodic side of Your Receding Warmth. Um, and Death is a Little More just took your receding warmth and bearing brightness, 
squished them together, but made it just <laughs> like insanely heavy, insanely experimental. I mean, damn, that's that's still the best album. But anyway, man, this is another really good album by Boundaries. They have not missed at all. Their lyrics are like incredibly, well, at least to me, very relatable and powerful um and really emotionally uh impactful like these two last songs if i was by myself i i you know on the right night i might be uh crying a little bit but anyway man let me know what your favorite songs are off of here also let me know if i should check this ep out or their first album i haven't heard anybody bring this up so yeah let me know down below in the comments uh make sure to subscribe check out my uh description and everything like that um and yeah i'll see you guys in the comments take it easy